What's going on YouTube? In this video, we're we'll going to be taking a look at what I would argue is one of the most important plays a trip side in offense can have, and that is the ability to threaten out of motion, the ability to threaten the left side of the field from motion, the ability to get over 30 yard clouds, and the ability to beat every defense in the game. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Detroit Lions trip side in, and particularly for a specific concept or a specific play that I think you're going to really enjoy, and that's the X spot on a trip side in. We're going to be taking a look at a motion setup from this that is really, really effective as it's going to enable you again to beat every coverage in the game, and particularly the coverage that is the best coverage in my opinion, which is a zone drop 30 yard cloud out of Tampa 2 or cover 4. This, this actually gets way over the top of that. We're going to show you that in this video. Now, if you're looking to pick up my Trips to End ebook or if you're looking to really take your game to the next level, make sure you check out my Patreon membership. I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. You can get the Patreon for just $10 a month. And the cool part about the Patreon is it updates. You also get access to all of my ebooks. I've got 20 offensive and defensive guides that you'll instantly gain access to by being a Patreon member. So if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description. You can check that out again, like I said, for just $10 a month. All right, guys, I wanted to go over um, X spot today. And I wanted to show you uh, something about this in particular route to Scotty Miller whenever you motion it to the right. So if we motion this all the way across the formation to the right side, especially if we're on the left side hash, you're gonna see that this route um, can really threaten the defense over the middle, but it can also threaten them over on that left side hash, uh, which is what we're gonna talk about right now. So what I like to do with this is take the tight end and put him on a crossing route. And then from there, it's really up to you. Uh, what you want to do. I think there's definitely some validity to streaking this guy up the seam if you wanted to do that. But I find that the fade on this outside guy is probably a better way to go. Underneath the underneath the defense, uh, what I like to do with this is, is really two routes that are going to threaten kind of the sideline. So we're going to run a little zig to Chris Godwin and we're going to run a little Bernard on a wheel. So you see right there, that's the play. Now, if you can't, let's say that you're watching this and you're like, I don't have Howard Master. What do I do? What I would do is I would go ahead and uh, just put the tight end on an in route and then take uh, Godwin and put him on a, you know, like an out route. Just something simple like this. That's fine. Okay. But what you're going to see here, our first read on the play um, is really our fade to zig. If our zig's open, we're going to take our zig. One of the most important things, especially if you're going to play Madden 22, is, is taking what the defense gives you because offense is really overpowered this year. It really is. And if you just simply take what the defense gives you, they're never going to stop you. But if you try to force things deep, then the pressure can get to you and things like that. So if they're going to give you that, take it. Now, the next thing we're going to go from our zig is we're going to look to our tight end on the crossing route. You're going to see that that's going to force them to have to play zone drops. It's going to be pretty much everything in the game. The only coverage it really doesn't be um, is a traditional cover two, uh, which we'll come to in just a second. So again, we're just going to cross through that tight end. And then I like to let this guy set his feet. You can, you can snap him in motion, but I like to let him set his feet on the left side. But our next read is going to be our wheel. We know that low ball wheels are really, really good, really effective, and you can throw them against pretty much anything in this game. So I'm going to take my chance there and at least force my opponent to have to respect uh, the wheel because most people on a trip side in they really don't run wheel routes But if we can make our opponent have to again add another layer of what they have to think about when they're playing defense on us It's definitely helpful to the offense And then our next read of course is our post now take a look at what that post gets to it's really a special It's really a special spot in the defense It's going to get underneath the deep zones and it's going to get over the top of the mid intermediate zones so here, I'm gonna press my coverage, kind of get those deep zones down a little bit. And what you should see is this route at some point will come open. Um, there I threw it a little bit too late, um, but it, it should come open right behind the intermediate yellow zones. It's really something that you gotta practice, um, but there's another read on this and I'm gonna show you it's a little bit easier. But especially if they're in cover four, um, you'll see right here, kind of like right there, Right where he could split the safeties, that's where you could hit that route, and, and I would really encourage you to hit it. Um, and then the, the 
the other thing that the bigger picture thing that we're going to see with this concept is Miller is going to continue to run. He's going to continue to run all the way across the formation right into this little pocket right in here. Now, some, every now and then it does that. Don't worry too much about it. I think it's because I didn't smart route the route. You definitely want to smart route this route. But what you'll see here right about there. You see how he goes all the way to the sideline. That's huge. And it really, to me, this works best on the short side of the field. Okay, so that's a cover four. Now, most people aren't going to be running cover four, but I will say I have gotten a decent dosage of cover four lately in trips. Um, you could also take Godwin and put him on a hitch. That hitch is really a, not a bad idea because what a, watch the zones. They'll suck in really bad. And then it leaves that void right there wide open in the cover three. So I'll show it to you one more time here. So the hitch, what the hitch will do if you want to use a hitch on Godwin is it will pull all of the zones inside. It will leave a massive void. And the thing about cover three is there's not two safeties in the back end of the defense, right? There's only one. So you're going to see once he comes underneath that safety, throw it right in there, and you see how good of a route that is. Now, let's talk about his own drops. Let's talk about the cover two defense here for just a second. If you're getting the cover two defense, what you're going to notice here is oftentimes, if you're getting a cover two call, the it's going to be 30-yard class. They're going to get deeper down the field. So it's a little bit deep, different in terms of how you want to throw it. But what you'll see here is he's going to come right about there, and you see how much he just absolutely torches. And you see how deep that is. That's literally, I'm on the 20. So that's a, I think that's what, like a 45-yard dot? We know about 40 yards is what you need to hit to be able to beat 30 yard clouds. So you see how good this route is. And it's specifically very good. It's cover two. Um, and, and the other thing you have is you have your fade whip. So if you want to hit your little fade, your little fade zig there, uh, that will kill cover two as well. And then you have your tight end cross. I mean, there's literally no defense in the game that's going to cover everything that you could do out of this. I'm going to come back in just a second and talk about cover three Mabel. But what you'll see again. Wheel, got that, and then got shedded, but you see, you see he's wide open, he's wide open. Let's talk about cover three Mabel real quick. So cover three Mabel to me is probably the most popular defense that you're gonna get, especially from a coverage perspective, um, if they know what they're doing. So this is kind of a traditional uh, cover three Mabel. And the cool part about this concept is you have these two routes running in the middle of the field alongside that you have a whip um, or a uh, little zig. Typically speaking, that crosser, if it's not open, you're gonna hit that right there. You just see, how, see how good that one is? So if your crosser's not there, you can hit the other route right there, okay? And then let me show you that one more time. And let me talk about one other route. And that is a little bit more on a user so like if the user goes with the crosser like right out of the gate what you should see here is a nice avoid to hit this right there that's a tight throw but you can hit that um, if you practice it so you might mess around with that and then lastly let's talk about man to man i think man to man honestly the problem with man coverage is that tight end route should kill it uh, to be honest with you so We'll show you it real quick. Two purples, got a deep third. The tight end route should kill man coverage. The zig route's really not a bad read, and of course your wheel route is open against man. But your first read, of course, is your zig. He gets jammed, so we're gonna look up to the crosser, and you see the tight end um, right there. Unfortunately, he's kind of being a little weird. Let me show it to you again. So again, I'm here. show you this tight end round right in there see how that works so i mean what you're seeing once he gets that separation it kind of clears the zones that's where you're looking to hit him and then even more importantly if they go with the tight end what you should be able to do 
is if they go with the tight end, this post with a low ball typically is fine. You need a little bit better route running than I have in this video uh, to be able to hit this consistently, I will say. But if they go with that tight end, you've got that 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 post is, is really good now in month because you have players that can run that route. Um, you have players like with 90 route running that can run that and they can get open on that route. Um, he's gonna get see how see how that's kind of and you get that a lot. I mean that's you're it, it's basically like a modified skinny close, very effective. So I wouldn't worry too much about man coverage with this. If you really want to kind of hedge your bet against man, what I would do if I was you and I was trying to hedge my hedge my bet, you I would still leave the fade over here. Um, but what I would do is kind of take the running back and just simply put him on an out instead of a wheel. That way, if you get man pressure, you just attack right here. It's real simple, and you see how good it is. So, guys, that's X Spot. There's so much to like about this this uh, concept. It literally beats every coverage in the game. It forces the defense to have to respect that motion a lot more than they maybe already do. It also continues, it takes a lot of the pressure in terms of what the offense is doing off of that number three receiver. That number three receiver is so important in this offense. The tight end also is so important in the offense. But when you can have something like this where the number two receiver starts to really threaten them on both sides of the field with X spot, to me it's one of the most important aspects to your trips tight end. I want to thank you for watching this video. I also want to remind you that if you want to join our Patreon, that's where you get access to all my ebooks. I've got 20 offensive and defensive ebooks available over there. I've also got a ton of updates that we've done over the course of the season that we do pretty much every week. We dropped a major defensive update yesterday in terms of how to stop much tight end. So if you want to check that out, there'll be a link in the description where you can join my Patreon. Also, I've started streaming more regularly. So if you want to check out my Twitch channel, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. We stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. And then also, if you want to check out our Discord, that's a great way to stay up to date with everything that's happening in the community. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, if you want to check out the Patreon and get the ebook, there's a link in the description.